Hey guys, it's Barbara. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you a something a little bit different sort of video. It is a video of me building my dream library in my new home and reorganizing my bookshelves and a bookshelf tour. guys so welcome back to the channel this video is something a little bit different it's sort of three videos in one if you want to call it I don't usually film my introduction after the video has been filmed so this is very different for me but some time ago you may know or may not you may follow me you may not but I moved house on the 14th of April we are currently eight weeks into our brand new house here and I am loving it and one of the tick boxes that I had of things that I wanted in my new house when we moved was to have my own library, to have my own dedicated room just for me, just for my books, just for my bookshelves and yeah my dream has come true because in this video you're going to see me sort of building my dream library. Not building the day bed, but the day bed is here. I'll go into that later on in the video. And then I am going to reorganize the books that I have because I've gone from two bookshelves to three, which you can see behind me here. And then I'm gonna go into a short mini sort of bookshelf tour as well, just to let you know how I've reorganized all of my books and all that good stuff. So without further ado, this has been really, really exciting to make. I've really, really enjoyed it. And so, so happy with the end result. Hopefully you enjoy this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Um, talk to me down in the comments down below let me know what you think of it and yeah let's just get into me building my dream library in my brand new house okay guys so first look at the library as it sits now there's going to be another belly bookcase going straight over here i have to take all of these books down now move the tbr cart move all of this stuff because there's going to be a day bed like a single that comes out in two double bed out here and yeah so let's get on with it so everything's just here that's from ikea so these are aaron's film bookcase shelf type things that are going into the main living room they're going to be built a bit later on the billy bookshelf is here which is going into the library here and um, that's part of it just over here at the door as well and then we have the day bed and um, which is also going into the library as just somewhere for people to sleep when people are staying over so yeah quite a bit of ikea building to do today fingers crossed Okay guys, so we'll have the third bookcase just here and for now, all the boxes that were on top, for now I am going to clear out all of the books from these bookshelves because this, these two bookshelves need to be moved to where the space is here to make space for the next. So it's literally going to be a whole wall of bookshelves and I'm very excited. <laughs> So we just need to put the shelves into each three and then I have some of the books down here and then all of these are going to be distributed over three shelves. Oh my god, I'm dying, dying.
Okay guys, so I've decided to do the shelves in genre order. So the alien stuff here, the aliens books and then the comic graphic novels. I'm going to move those over to this shelf because that's all sort of horror here. I'm going to have my fantasy and sci-fi and then I'm going to have my thriller sort of genre. Um, and then the like of my library books and arcs and things. I think it's so overwhelming having three bookshelves compared to two. It's like worry about everything, but what an awesome sort of problem to have. Can we all agree? And the end project looks a little something like this. Oh my God, this isn't it amazing? I actually love it. Oh my God. Okay guys, so it's coming a long well so far. Um, I think for for now, for the top three shelves here, I'll probably just put a few of Aaron's movie boxes up there. I don't currently have any books to put in there, which is a lovely ha is a lovely problem to have when you've got as many books as I do. So the main thing I wanted to do for no one, as soon as I knew that we were going to have the library in the new house, I sold quite a few of my books that I didn't want. So. All of the books on all of these shelves basically are books that I wanted to keep, read and have and there's nothing there that I'm not sort of fussed on so really really pleased with that. So currently I'm just left with these arcs, some Jackie, Jackie Collins and a couple of books here. This is all Aaron's movie boxes so they'll go back up onto the top of the bookshelves and then this is just a wee bit of rubbish that I need to clear here. And then obviously tomorrow we will be building the day bed for to go across where the window is so yeah it's not looking too bad at all very pleased okay guys so this is the finished look uh, we finally got the day bed up <laughs> I didn't vlog it <clears throat> I didn't film it because it took nearly five hours and a lot of bickering and arguing with Aaron to get this thing up it was mental so as you can see, bookshelves are good to go. Uh, TBR cart just needs a wee bit of tender love and care, TLC. And then we have got the floating shelves here, which need to go up here. And a wee bit of painting needs done just here. Um, this is going to be my Stephen King and Special Editions shelf. Two shelves. But for now, I'm going to take you through a quick bookshelf tour. And then end the video and hopefully, I don't know, hopefully you've enjoyed it anyway. Okay guys, we're just going to start with the top row then of the three shelves. So on this shelf we have primarily library books. So these are the library books that I picked up last week. Um, there's around about 14 in total, I think, including the Chunker Dunker, that is Legacy of Ash. Very excited when I, I bought that in the library. And then three of my uni textbooks just here. So we have... Or forgotten when I was 10 the last house on the street on a date like this Wonderland Legacy of Ash Stranger in the Lake Blood Sugar a couple of graphic novels Our Share of Night Alone with You and the Ether Carrie Soto is back that's for a very special video coming up and notes on an execution so just moving across and we are on my gifted shelf so these books have all been gifted to me and primarily want to keep these out in a separate sort of shelf or shelves you'll see a few more just in a second because I'm very aware that I never get through my gifted books and I hate the thought of someone taking the time and money to give me a book and I don't read it and I wanted to keep them all sort of somewhere so we have a few Stephen Kings here uh, this coven won't break and these witches won't burn a couple more Stephen Kings uh, my first throw into the Zodiac Academy series loved it then we have a couple more another graphic novel manga Stephen King House in the Australian Sea Trader's Blade Day Like This I was gifted this romantic comedy by my lovely sister-in-law Claire so that's there um, Court of Wings and Ruin Hostage These Violent Delights 
another Karen Slaughter uh, still beating which was gifted to me by Steph from Steph Loves uh, Icebreaker another Stephen King X's and O's Sex Cult Nun which was actually from Christmas time I think it was my lovely friend Jam uh, gifted me this at Christmas really good actually Sundown Motel which I have been dying to have my own copy of for such a long time so I'm really hyped to have that let me just move these over then then we have Finley Donovan is killing it still. House Lake Legends of Lattes, Bone Season, Defend the Dawn, Hooked and the Song of Achilles. So yeah, there are other gifted books scattered throughout my bookshelves, but these are sort of the main ones that I want to get to and prioritise. And as I say, just over here then, we have some fantasy arcs that I need to get through. Then we have our Christopher Polini's new Fractal Noise release. A Court of Silver Flames, Diary of or Death of Bookseller, Happy Place and Everyone in My Family Has Killed Someone. So these are just sort of like an overflow gifted sort of publisher arcs gifted, that sort of thing. Okay, so apologies if you can hear the um, blinds going a bit mental. I had to open the window. It is really, really warm here today. So then we get down to the next shelf. What did I tell you? I mean, how rude. Anyway, so the next shelf down is my Stephen King shelf, which you can see I have a couple of editions there. I am currently collecting the brand new hotter editions of the Stephen King um, titles. So they're there. Obviously, I've got a few up here as well that were gifted to me. So they're going to go over there whenever I have read them. And then I have my wonderful Barnes & Noble special edition with the three books, Carrie, The Shining and Salem's Lot. Um, that my lovely friend Colleen gifted it to me. She brought it all the way over from LA and didn't let on. And then I have my Pennywise figure here, which is my pride and joy. I absolutely love this figure. So this is my Stephen King shelf at the moment. As I say, that's going to be moving over to the wall whenever I get the floating shelves up. But for now, this is where it, where it sits. Just going to move down on this particular shelf at the side here because I have tried to genre th theme from the second shelf down on each of the shelves and this is sort of my horror kind of um, shelf which you will see here. Um, so just in the middle I have my alien shelf which is dedicated basically to all of my aliens omnibuses if I just can bring you in. Aaron gifted these to me. Oh, there's a poop bag. I wonder what else is doing in there. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Aaron did gift these to me. If I can get them. Sorry, the sun's shining. Blinds are going crazy here. Um, he did gift all volumes to me. I haven't read them yet. And then he gifted himself the Aliens volumes of the graphic novels. Um, the omnibuses there. So I also have sort of nabbed those for my shelf. I will not feel bad for it. And then we have an alien box and some of his alien NECA figure boxes as well just to basically just be a wee bit in keeping with my alien sort of um, setup here and then on down we go to my very small which I'm very embarrassed about my very small collection of horror novels this is going to have to be revisited at some time I'm going to have to start a collection of horror books I mean I am the biggest horror film fan how do I not have more horror books is I don't know it's an understatement I have a Chucky NECA box love Chucky if you know me you know I love Chucky and then we have a few books here some Grady Hendrix um a Darcy Coates and then we have my Regan Living Doll doll uh where she stands just beside my copy of The Exorcist so yeah one of my my favorite setups on my bookshelves for sure Okay, so if I just move you across then um, to the second set of shelves, this is my fantasy sort of setup here, uh, which I'll show you. You'll you'll understand in a second. So just here, uh, this is actually just a dust jacket for A Court of Mist and Fury because I'm reading it right now. So I'll just pop that down there and I'll let you have a look and see what I have here. So these are my sort of um fantasy series like a fantasy series shelf um they're all pretty much series so you'll understand as you go along so we have malice by john gwen which is the first in the series skyward elantris hero of ages i'm currently just finishing the final empire and i have the well of ascension on my tbr so i don't have that on my shelves a little barb key ring if i can get her to focus can we get her to focus come on barb Barb's pretty cool. There's Barb. 
Um, so she just sits here. And then we have got, sorry, can we get that? Yep. So then we've got a quart of thorns and roses. You will have seen I have all of the series now. They're just scattered around. Um, Assassin's Apprentice and Assassin's Quest. I currently have Royal Assassin out on my TBR, so it's not here. Poppy War Trilogy, Percy Jackson series, Curse of Dark and Lonely series. And then behind here, I also have House of Earth and Blood and House of Sky and Breath by Sarah J Maas, who is quickly becoming one of my favourite authors. So really love this shelf. And then any non-Harry Potter fans, please look away because this, again, is one of my favourite shelves and my pride and joy. So if you're not in that sort of group of people, then, you know, fast forward or don't leave me a comment saying that I shouldn't have any of this on my shelves. If they are my shelves. I will have what I want on them. It is what it is. Please don't come at me. So we have my Harry Potter um, sort of collectibles here and my illustrated versions of my Harry Potters to date. And then I have the illustrated Lord of the Rings uh, books collection that Aaron had gifted me a while back. And then just the paperbacks of Lord of the Rings as well. In this box here is the complete Harry Potter paperback collection. So I don't have them out at the moment. I just have the box there. So... I do love this shelf, it is one of my favourites. So then moving down, we have a wonderful photo of Novak, because why not? I could look at him all day. And then we have my sort of bookmark pot. I have lots of bookmarks, maybe one day I could go through those with you guys. But again, a few series is here that some of you may be interested in. I have the Six of Crows, the first in the geology. I have Reign of Kings, The Name of Things, House of Always. I do have the rest of the series. They're just scattered around or they're out for a video or <coughs> I just don't have them on the shelves at the moment. I then have the Complete Twilight uh, collection, which was gifted to me by my lovely friend Colleen as well. Shadow Hunters Codex. And then just over here, just move this out of the way. And we have pretty much... Me and Rebecca, my lovely friend, have pretty much read up to Tales of the Shadowhunter Academy at this stage. So, moving on to the next sort of trilogy in that world. Very, very excited, but need to have my Cassandra Clare sitting on my bookshelf. So, let me just put these back up. Lovely photo of Novak. And then my wonderful bookmarks. So, then we're moved down and we have my wonderful finished copy of... Under the Whispering Door that I received from the lovely Black Crow PR. I will keep this until the day I die. I absolutely love it. And then we have the Aragon Quartet, which was also gifted to me by my lovely friend Colleen for Christmas. And then we have some start sort of first books in series here. I didn't want to put the, all of the series out because I don't have room on my shelves to start with. But we have the Atlas Six, we have Mayday, Nevernight, uh, Black Prism, Bunchard Daughter, Defy the Night, Game of Thrones and Cruel Prince. We have a few V.E. Schwab's here, Marion the Night Brothers and then my wonderful copy gifted to me again by the publisher of The Once and Future Witches. And then guys down just to the bottom of this sort of fantasy-esque type shelf. We do have a couple of sci-fis in here but just don't worry about that. We have some Christina Henry, The Bone Shard Daughter, Colour of Magic by Terry Pratchett. A few more of the first in series. Again, I didn't want to put the whole series out, so that's why it's only those. Six Crimson Cranes, Kings of the Wild, Black Sun, Fifth Season, The Fan of the Wath and Wakes, Winter Promise, Near the Bone and Truly Devious. We then go on to Christopher Paolini's To Sleep in a Star Sea of Stars, Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir and Devil in the Dark Water by Stuart Titan. Turton and then some of the Throne of Glass series don't ask me where the others are having a baldy clue but they're somewhere in this house and then I was gifted the Vampire Diaries um, series by my lovely friend Rebecca the last time she sent me a ton of books over in the post so that's the bottom shelf there and now we move to the third shelf over and we have some special additions on this shelf so I have the lovely first heart stopper in the series uh, which was gifted to me by the lovely Claire thank you again Claire you're so good to me at times it is not even funny and then what a wonderful picture here look at these beautiful special editions so some were gifted by my lovely friend Shell some were I bought from Rebecca when she had duplicates 
and a few others were gifted by the publisher. So as you can see, I have up onto what's published, The Atlas Six and The Atlas Paradox by Olivia Blake, Once Upon a Broken Heart and Ballad of Never Ever After. I also have pre-ordered the third from Waterstone, so it's the special edition Book of Night by Holly Black, Her Majesty's Royal Coven, this is beautiful, Babel by R.F. Kwong, Extraordinary, Spook Eaters, Shadow and the Fox. And then I also have a couple of special editions. Shell actually gifted these to me, Les Mis and the Horror Collection. And then H.P. Lovecraft's sort of collection of short stories here, which I absolutely love as well. So I'm just going to put this back up on the shelf here. And then I'm going to move you down. So this is a wee bit of this and that, really. These are books that I just gifted myself a couple of weeks ago. Haven't found a place for those yet, so we'll get there in the end. My mum was reading her loft and she came across my wonderful Chucky from Rugrats doll from when I was younger. So she gave me it um, last week and it's it's up on my it's up on my shelves, so I'm very happy. And then my copy of Yellow Face from Waterstones. Again, this probably should be on the special edition shelf, but for now it's just gonna sit here pride of place and then I'll just move Chucky and I have a few sort of hardbacks that I haven't read yet and I haven't managed to get to but for the most part very excited for fourth wing guys have heard nothing but good things about this book so very 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 excited to have this one Chucky's back up there and I do love this shelf as well okay three more shelves then we have the predator omnibus sort of um comics which is Aaron's but I have swiftly stolen for my shelves and again we have some other hardbacks that I haven't gotten round to reading yet so the discovery of rose gold the time of my life quality land the push the retreat city we became and the dreamers some paperbacks that I'm very interested in reading also namely the dead romantics fatal crossing which was gifted to me by Rebecca and a couple of AR tours and then we have our trick or treat NECA box and some more sort of thrillers uh, that I'm, I'm dying to get to namely one of the girls that night Grace Shear this might hurt Lucy scores things we never got over and pretty girls by Karen Slaughter moving down we have mostly got well we've got some books here that I'm really interested in reading I'll just move these over here and show you some paperbacks here um, that I didn't want to get rid of because I am very interested in reading them. Very interested in this one actually guys. American Mother, it's a sort of biography. Um, the true story of a troubled family motherhood and the cyanide poisonings that shook the world. Very, very excited for this. Shell actually gifted this to me before Christmas and I haven't got around to reading it. From here over are arcs that I haven't managed to get round to reading yet, although Matrix is an arc that was gifted by Rebecca and also, I don't know how these get in here, Catherine of Aragon, Six Tutor Queens, I need to pop that there and then some that I need to get to very very soon, The Luminaries, Fine Shade and Slaughterhouse Farm. And then back down to the bottom we have my Sad Ghost Club graphic novel which was gifted by the lovely Claire. Agatha Christie collection. Some of the up and coming arcs that I need to read in the next month or two. So from A Game of Lies until the fake up. <clears throat> we have the fine print and him and then my Jodie Pico collection which is just here couple of Colleen Hoover's and then L Kennedy's The Deal and The Fake Up. So yeah, don't ask me at this stage how many books I have on my TBR to be read. I know there are quite a few but for the most part I'm really really happy with my shelves and how they've turned out. I could never have dreamed of having three bookshelves guys. It's just an absolute dream come true and then obviously I have the day bed here as well, which <sighs> it's beautiful. I've got the chair there because I need to stand on it. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this. TBR cart needs to be sorted out at the moment. Um, but apart from that, that's pretty much my bookshelf tour for 2023.